Now, this this is a bit crazy, but I do this I do this with my kids, mm-hmm. right? As you know, I don't have a lot of time with my kids, but when I'm with them, one of the skills, like I, I thought about this and I thought, what are the most important skills I can give my children when I don't have a lot of time with them? This is one of the most important skills. Observation. Observation. Observation and understanding. Watch these people. I say to my kids, watch these people. Look, look at how they stand, how they move. Look at what they're wearing. Look at who they talk to. Mm-hmm. You know, look, look at everything they're doing. Don't listen to anything they say. Mm-hmm. Look at everything they're doing. And tell me about them. Mm-hmm. Look carefully. What are they wearing? Why are they wearing that? How, why are they standing like that? Who are they talking to? Why are they talking to them? Okay, what do they do? What's their job? Where do they work? Are they married? Are they single? Mm. Um, what can you what can you see? Because because reading people is is far more important than reading books <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah people say oh yeah reading reading books is mm-hmm. is great it, it is but there are many important skills we need in life and reading people is um it is vital look at their you know the, the person's posture mm-hmm. how do they stand where do they look? How confident are they in their in, in their posture, even in, in their speech, in the things mm-hmm. that they do? Because because it's it's all there. <clears throat> Your whole life is with you all of the time. In every moment, your entire past, your, your entire history, your whole life is with you in the things that you do. Every love, every joy, every fear, that's why we react, because mm-hmm. of our history. Yeah. Um, every passion, it's all with us, all of the time. It's not hidden, it's not, it's not, it's not hidden away. It's not buried anywhere. It's with you all of the time. And if you can learn to to observe people, and you know, it, it, it's a skill that's worked on in um, so certain areas of of the police work with this, mm-hmm. right? Because the 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 police need to have what's called command presence and understanding. The police need to be able to look at a situation, understand who is who, who is what, what is happening, and how to react to that. Now, your lower level police maybe don't get much training in that, but as you go up and you Mm -hmm. get into Mm -hmm. special forces level, which really gets you into much deeper things like you know, neurolinguistics um, at, at another level. But, the, you know, there's many, 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 many levels to it. It's behavioral science, right? It's a behavioral science. It's looking at a person's behavior, what they do. Now, the word behavior, your behavior is, behavior is three words together. Mm-hmm. It's be, have, and our. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's our behavior is us. It's what we have and who we are. Mm-hmm. And this you can see in, in in a person if you study them. And you don't need to study them for a long period of time. 
you just need, you need to observe them a number of times on a number of different situ in a number of different situations and, and see um, who they are, where they are, what they are, and are they themselves or are they acting right? Because the waitress in the restaurant. Oh, that's 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 acting, right? Being mm -hmm. a waitress is, is acting. Mm -hmm. You don't do that at home, <laughs> right? So you're acting. So, so you can still learn something about a person, but you have to be aware of who the person is, and is it an act or not? The bus driver drives the bus, but what what more can you tell about the bus driver from 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 what you can see? What is around the person? What is in their environment? Well, um, why are they wearing the clothes that they are wearing? Is it a uniform? Is the uniform them? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? No. Okay. Do they like to wear the uniform? Does it give them some power and authority? Mm -hmm. Do they look happy? Do you think they're happy? Are they happy? Okay. Why are they not happy? Right. And once you see these things in other people, you can also see them in yourself as well. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a mirror. You really need to see it in yourself first in order to understand it in other people. But um, young people don't have a lot of experience in life. So um, so you can do so that the greatest one of the greatest ways to learn is, is observation of, of what is happening. Yeah. And um it can be done with people. It can be done. It's what people do with animals, right? Zoology. Uh -huh. You know, people study animal behavior. Why do animals do what they do? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, um, you know, human behavior is a science. This is, you know, they, they, uh -huh. there are large departments of universities focused only on human behavior. What is... Um, Large, large areas, large parts of universities are human behavioral science laboratories, where they spend, where scientists spend all their time experimenting on people. Why do people do what they what they do? Um, it it. Uh, People, okay. Here, here's an example. Um, Behavioral science discovered that people follow people. The idea, mm -hmm. the philosophy, the concept behind everything doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People follow people. Mm -hmm. People follow people. Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if. The person, it doesn't matter what the person's belief is or which party they belong to. People follow people. That's what social media and influencers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is, 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 is all yeah. about. People follow people. Follow people yeah. And they have done that since the beginning of, of time. And so the ruling classes know that people follow people. And so they give us people to follow. Follow this person, follow this person, follow this person, follow this person. And and we do. Because we're human beings. <laughs> it's, what we, it's what we do. It, it, it's how we are. It's our behavior. Yeah, we people follow people. People go where people go. Well, all the people go over there. Huh? You know, they, they, people go where people go. It starts with a small group of people, but it very quickly becomes a big, big group. People go where people go. Look at festivals, for example, right? There's, you know, they, they just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? People go where people go. And, uh, and so the, the, the study of the behavior of people is, is extremely interesting. What, 
what what are they wearing why are they wearing it is it practical mm -hmm. is it not mm -hmm. do they have a bag is it a big bag or a small bag what is in the bag <laughs> you, you you look as 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 mm -hmm. as, as, as a yeah. lady as a lady yeah. right mm -hmm. that resonates <laughs> you understand you mm -hmm. you can tell a lot about a person from the things that are in their bag right mm -hmm. you know you <laughs> and I, look i have a I have a rucksack, and in my rucksack, there's there's a knife, right? <laughs> there's a knife. What do I, what does that what does that tell you? Hopefully, it tells you that that I try to be practical. That maybe <laughs> when I'm out somewhere, mm -hmm. I'm going to need a knife to do something, right? It make makes some kind of sense to me because mm -hmm. I'm the outdoor type person. So, so there. Um, so. Um, when you are interviewing people it's it's not really about the words it's about watching a person where do they put their coat how do they look do they look confident are they nervous yeah and then maybe, you know, maybe why well, wonder why why are they nervous right here, let me let me give you I'll give you an example. I had a, I had a client mm -hmm. a few months ago, yeah, mm -hmm. and we we had we had a meeting, and just 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 like this through um, mm -hmm. uh, through through Skype, and um, in the first five seconds of the meeting, I knew that something was not okay. Yeah. And I said, hi, how are you? And they said, blah, 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 blah. And I said, you're not okay, are you? And they said, what, what? I said, you're, you're not okay. I can, I can, I, I can see you're not okay. Wow. So I said, so I said, we can stop this now. Or you can tell me what the problem is. And then we can continue. Because, because there, there, there's there's an elephant in the room, okay? And we mm -hmm. need to do something mm -hmm. about this elephant that's here. And this client said, well, 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 well I, the client was confused. You know, they're like, well, how do you, how do you know? I'm like, like don't trust trust me okay i know right mm -hmm. i know and i said i'll tell you I, I will tell you more this was all in like in 20 seconds right mm -hmm. i said i will tell you more it's your boyfriend you have a problem with your boyfriend mm -hmm. and her, her her mouth was just like <laughs> just dropped open mm -hmm. and it she's like yep yeah. She's like, yes. And I said, okay, good. Now we can continue, right? Because that that's, mm -hmm. okay. I said, I said, look, if you want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. But I, but we don't have to talk about it. It's not, it's not my problem. I don't care. You know, it's, it's your mm -hmm. life, right? It's your life, yeah. not mine. So, I mean, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. But, but I'm just telling you that I can see that. Mm -hmm. Right, and that is where you're, where you're at right now. Yeah, and that is the single most important thing for you. Like, this here is not important. That thing there is important for you. You need to go fix that right now. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, or maybe you need to fix that in an hour or two hours or something but you know it's 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 obviously a, a big problem and these things are <laughs> visible everywhere yeah. <laughs> yeah these things are visible yeah. everywhere you know in, in in and a lot of the time in 
the way that people move and the way that people walk and the way that, you know, where do people look? Do they look up at the sky? Do they look down at their feet? Are they looking around? It, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people walk into a room and they look down, or, but some people walk into a room and they, they look at, they look at things because they're interested in things. Yeah. You know, what's this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's a good thing. Having an interest in your environment is very important. Mm. Yeah. And all of these things tell us something mm-hmm. about people. About person. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they, 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 they tell us about the character of a person. Mm-hmm. They tell us about the person's experience in life, and they also tell us a little bit about, you know, what the person will be like in in certain situations. Mm-hmm. They don't tell us everything, but. Uh, um, bits bits and pieces are are there um i'll give you one more example i have a friend my friend has a lot of tattoos Mm -hmm. my friend has a lot of problems because every tattoo is a problem every tattoo is a scar lot of patients with tattoos yeah and every week oh. yeah every okay okay here's and and I've, I've been over this before with previous clients and and 99.99 percent of the time tattoos mean serious communication problems that's oh, 99.99% okay. of the time. Now, there's a small percentage where mm-hmm. nice, happy person gets dolphin on shoulder, right? You know, mm-hmm. they, you don't need to burn your children's name into your skin. That's a bit extreme, right? Let me give you my philosophy on that aspect mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. it, right? Because that's mm-hmm. a really specific aspect of mm-hmm. it. Things in life were only good until they're not good anymore. Many things start off small and are Mm -hmm. okay, but Mm -hmm. when they get bigger, they become problems. Now, this is, this, this, this manifests in many, many, many different ways in many different areas of life that, that small is manageable, big is a problem. Yeah. And it's not just personal activities, it's also social movements, social movements. Now, my philosophy, because somebody asked me a while ago, somebody asked me, why, why don't you have a tattoo? Because, you know, I like, I like rock music and uh, I've lived a bit of a crazy life. And, um, and so, you know, because all my, all, all my friends, right, have mm-hmm, mm-hmm. tattoos or, or something <laughs> somewhere, right? Yeah. Mm. But, but I don't have any. And, and my my philosophy comes from the understanding that that at some point in time everything reverses and changes and that what was once good is no longer good mm-hmm. in terms of social movements because everything gets taken to an extreme and at one point in time in the past, if you wanted to be a rebel, mm-hmm. a revolutionary, you got a tattoo, right? Mm-hmm. You got a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. it has flipped. The rebels and the revolutionaries are the people with no tattoos. Mm-hmm. Because they're the minority. They're the minority now. So why don't I have a tattoo? I don't have a tattoo because it's more rebellious to not have a tattoo than to have a tattoo because everybody's got a tattoo. It's harder to not have a tattoo 
than a tattoo because there's so much social pressure on get a tattoo, have a tattoo. Tattoos are cool. Um, Mm -hmm. All the Mm -hmm. all the football players have got tattoos and the rugby players have got (laughs) tattoos and the movie stars have got tattoos and the pop stars have got tattoos. They've all got tattoos. And um, and so they've got them and they make them cool. So you should have them, too. (laughs) No, no. The real rebel goes against everything. Yeah. Goes against everything. Mainly young people have a lot of tattoos. Yeah, but like like, like, <laughs> like I always say, once you once you pop, you can't stop. And what I mean by that is you you, you never get just one, right? It starts with one <laughs> and then it grows. It's it's like there's not just one beer, you know. It's, <laughs> there's always more, right? <laughs> so uh, tattoos are, you know, just mm. the same basic social principle. Um, once you start, you can't stop. And the the, the in history, if mm. you go back in history, tattoos only belonged to sailors and prisoners. Those were the only two categories of people that had tattoos: sailors and prisoners. Mm. Yep, those were the only two people, two mm-hmm. categories that had tattoos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and that that tells us a lot, right? Mm-hmm. That tells us a lot about. Um, and the sailor had, and and some maybe soldiers. Okay, you can add soldiers, mm-hmm. because they were tattooed with whatever army they belonged to, because that was the only way to know who they were when they were dead. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I'm the only way to know was the, mm-hmm. the mark on their skin, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. their 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 head was chopped off or you know destroyed or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the the body markings were the only way to know. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, they were the, right. they were the only way to know which which army you belonged to. And soldiers are sold people anyway, so they're a type of slave. That's what it means. Sold, jur, mm-hmm. sold. Being sold. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different type of slave. Yeah, it's a paid, it's paid slavery, right? That that that's what it means. That's what the word. That's what the word means. So um, uh, so that the the whole tattoo philosophy is very very interesting because every tattoo is a sign Mm -hmm. of a very deep problem that will probably be with us forever. Mm -hmm. And burning yourself, which is what a tattoo is, it's burning yourself, burning yourself is a very painful activity. It's causing pain to yourself. Yeah. And the only people who cause pain to themselves are people with Mm -hmm. problems in their head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't, I don't, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. You know, I mean, they, 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 there's something they have to solve. There's something they have to fix. I'm not saying they've got some psychological problem. I'm just saying they've mm-hmm. got a problem. And like we all have problems and this problem needs to be fixed. But for this person, this problem is much deeper. It's much, much deeper. And every tattoo, it begins with communication between parents and children. Um, that's the first level of young people get tattoos because they're angry with their parents and they know that their parents will be angry mm-hmm. if they get a tattoo. <laughs> that, that's that's the first level, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then there are other levels and scales of problems related to that. Um, and there are very... In fact, in my life, I don't think, 
this is a really dangerous thing to say. In my life, I don't think I've met anybody with a lot of tattoos that didn't have a lot of problems. This doesn't, this doesn't mean people are bad people. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean people are bad people. It just means there are people with, some people have more problems than other people, right? Some people have more yeah. problems than other people. It, it's, it, 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 it's true of life. And for me, it's logical that if you are more positively orientated in your mindset and balanced, you don't have any tattoos because you're, you're comfortable with who you are, right? You don't feel the need to belong to any specific uh, social group or to, to hurt yourself in any way. Um, however, socially acceptable it may be. And um, of course, like attracts like. And so people with tattoos have friends who have tattoos mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they people yeah 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 it's, it's natural it's just natural like people who mm -hmm. like rock music have friends who like rock music you know it, 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 yeah. it's just the way we are as, as tribes we're tribal people and so people with tattoos connect with other people who have tattoos and um it's it's the, the the problem grows right yeah. you know it it it's uh it's it, you give me your problem and i give you my problem and our problems just grow nothing really gets solved because people with problems surround themselves with other people who have problems. And um, you, mm, I don't have a, I don't have a like or a dislike for the tattoos. I just, I know that a lot of the time a tattoo is a scream. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time a tattoo is a scream. The, the, the tattoo is inside the person is going ah and the tattoo yeah. is the, 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 the symbol mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for that relationship to that specific problem. Not always. Um, there is an element of body art and there's an element of sort of crazy commitment as well because once you get the tattoo that's that's that right for life um and it will always be there mm -hmm. and um it's it, it it's interesting it's very it's it, it's very interesting because people talk about the tattoos but they never talk about the real reason for the tattoo, mm -hmm, which is, mm -hmm. which is a much, much, much deeper problem. And, and really the tattoo is an opportunity to talk about the problem, right? Because, mm -hmm. because for a lot of people, not all people, but for a lot of people, it's okay. like this tattoo represents this problem. This tattoo represents another problem. This okay. tattoo represents something. This t tattoo represents that part of my life that I'm finished with. And, uh -huh. um, and you know you never escape the tattoo you never escape it it's with you always oh. and so mm -hmm. can you ever escape the problem if you can't escape the tattoo i'm not sure uh -huh. that you can ever escape uh -huh. the problem you always carry it with you in one way or another the only way to escape the problem is to let it go just to let it go uh -huh. just to release it which is really difficult psychologically because problems are part of who we are uh, as human beings there's, there's a part of all of us that is the problem part it's the the the, the things we think about too much or the things we get wrong uh, or the things that that uh that, that, that cause us worry or whatever it, it, it's it's um problems are part of life that's why that's why work exists Work exists to solve problems. That is the sole reason for work. Work should be, it, it shouldn't exist for that. Work should give people, the real reason for work should be to give people purpose in life. But it's not, it's become ways of solving problems. And 
that's mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a, is spiritually the wrong, completely <laughs> completely the wrong reason, and why work doesn't make people happy a lot of the time, because it doesn't it doesn't give them a higher purpose. You know, um, I think that. Uh, Tattoos are an interesting symbol. Also, tattoos are an interesting symbol of commitment. Right? Commitment. Because a tattoo is something you do 100%, right? Mm -hmm. There's no way back, right? There's no way back. It's mm -hmm. a tattoo. And, and a lot of the time in life, when we do things, when we make decisions, not always, but sometimes we want to leave a door open so that there's a way out. Not always. The, the best decisions in life are always binary. This always comes back. The best decisions are yes, no decisions. All the best mm -hmm. decisions in life are binary. Where there's yes, no, maybe, life is very complicated. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Life is, it, it, nah. it, it's almost, too complicated when there's when mm -hmm. there's maybe it's like yes or no and 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 that's great because then you can move forward if there's a maybe you're just stuck just you're just stuck you can't move mm -hmm. maybe may, maybe stops you from doing anything um it might be that a person's overthinking it might be that a person has to wait for somebody else to make a decision but it, it just doesn't help Every time there's a yes, no decision, you can move forward. Yes, okay, move forward. No, okay, move forward, move on. You know, it, it, it's, and then we make the next decision, and it's binary, yes or no, and we go forward. And it's binary, yes or no, and we go forward. And um, you know, that was the original principle of why computers would be good. Why right? computers are good because there's no maybe. It's on or it's off, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Right. Oh, no, no. It's on it's on or it's off. Yeah. And all the best decisions in life are binary based decisions. Yeah. Um you know, it, it, having having a partner in life, you know, big being married, it's it's a yes or no decision. There's no middle, right? <laughs> um, yeah. You know, it, it's it's life. Life is a yes or no. There's no middle. You're alive or you're dead, right? <laughs> Right. Well, that, that's plus minus. Plus, plus, plus minus. <laughs> yeah, well, you can put it on a scale if you want, right? But that, that's a choice. But no, the, the yeah, the, yeah, to to get up in the morning, to go out, to work, to to drive your car, to go to the shop, to buy the food, to to eat, whatever. These are all binary choices. These are all binary decisions. Yes, no, on, off, and we can only move forward in a binary world. We can't move forward if we're stuck in what I would call maybe land. <laughs> yeah. Which is uh, maybe it's like well that's that's not helpful. That's not that's not helpful at all. It doesn't help anybody. Yeah. Um and it's understandable that somebody says <clears throat> I don't know, but you can't say I don't know forever, right? That that's you're you're allowed to think about things for a period of time for sure. But because uh, you want to make sure that you're making the right decision. But at the end of the day, everybody has to make it. Ever at the end of the day, to move forward in life, you have to be binary. Binary is the the the, the fundamental mm -hmm. option. There's only two choices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on, off, yes, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. it's, it's binary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. by, bi, meaning two. <laughs> yeah. Like mm -hmm. uh, uh, bilingual, right? Two languages. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Binary, two choices. So, um, mm -hmm. and uh, like the computer circuit is binary of course yeah mm -hmm. so um and that you know that the light is on the light in the room is on or off the the, the door is open or closed open or closed <laughs> yeah yeah mm -hmm. um 
it, it's you did it or you didn't do it, right? Yeah. It's finished or it's not finished, yeah. right? It, everything good is mm -hmm. binary, and it, it because when you have the decision, you can take the next step. It might not be a decision that you like, mm -hmm. but that's not relevant. It is that the decision happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so middle middle ground or middle territory, which is the which is maybe land, is, is a really mm -hmm. difficult place to be because there's nothing to hold on to in in, in that mm -hmm. and you can't make the next decision because the first decision hasn't been made yeah yeah you, you, you've got to take mm -hmm. it in steps life is steps mm -hmm. right? oh my God. yeah 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 we, whichever we, yeah but really whichever way you go is forwards <laughs> that that's the strange thing right because mm -hmm. time is time is unidirectional mm -hmm. so so whichever way you go it's forwards yeah. it, it's just really strange mm -hmm. but 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 that's that's the way it works um and uh um all of the all all of the great decisions are clear you know, it's, it's clear. Yeah, and then, you know, that, that, that's where, that, 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 that's where things get easier because you can say, you do the job or you don't do the job or they're good at it or they're not. You, you, you know, it's, this, this maybe, maybe it's a bad place to be, right? Sometimes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Do you love me? Sometimes. It's like, oh, you know, <laughs> what is that? Sometimes. 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 <laughs> Sometimes. Definitely. Maybe. Sort of. Mm -hmm. Yes, possibly. <laughs> what are you talking about? Be being in the middle is just not helpful. Because you need to take the next step. And, and, and you can't. And we sometimes we think it's the good thing to do or the right thing to do to be in the middle and try to do everything for everybody and compromise. Do you know what the Bible says about compromise? The Bible says that compromise is from the devil. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. The Bible mm -hmm. says that compromise is from the devil. Mm -hmm. That you should never compromise on what is right. Mm -hmm. Never. It is from <clears throat> the devil. <clears throat> and we think and we, we think we help when we seek compromise, we search for compromise. What is communism? Communism is one big compromise. That's what communism <laughs> is. Communism is one big compromise and compromise is good for everybody. It's not. It's not. Mm -hmm. And the Bible tells us this. It is of the devil. <laughs> and then communists didn't want religion. They didn't want Christianity. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they want Christianity? Because Christianity teaches that communism is the devil. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's all there. It's all there, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy world we we live in where we try to do the, we we all try to do the right thing, but we get caught in trying to keep everybody happy, right? And. That's the great mistake is trying to keep everybody mm -hmm. happy because because mm -hmm. another person's happiness is their choice, not your choice or my choice. It's <laughs> their choice. 
-hmm. You choose to be happy or not happy. It's your choice. So trying to keep other people happy is not even possible. You have no control over that. You have no control over another person's happiness because it's their choice. Oh, but they won't be happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what? Mm -hmm. Well, then nobody will be happy. Is that, is, that, is that what you want? You want nobody to be happy? Let the unhappy people be unhappy. Let the happy people be happy. It's their choice. You can choose. Everybody gets to choose. Mm. Free will from God. God says you get to choose. So choose. You can choose to be thankful for what you have or you can choose to complain about it. Right? You can choose to be thankful for life or you can say, you, or you can get frustrated with it. Right? Your choice. Happiness is a choice yeah. that people make. Yeah, so, no, they won't be happy. They'll never be happy because you do this and they're, they'll be happy for a day and then they'll change their mind and they'll want something different. So doing, doing things to please other people never works because they don't know what they want anyway, right? Because no, cause, cause most people don't know what they want, <laughs> right? It's, it's the way that we are as people. <laughs>